The undead! If we save us! Things return to normal so slowly these days. Is there really a time when everything is as we imagine? Arathiel. She helped us escape, but no one's seen her since. And Arbamath is overrun with all manner of undead and their vile masters. Yes, and after all Arathiel did for us, we should repay her kindness. I need to stay here and wait for the others. Arathiel told us to meet here. Can you search Arbamath and rescue her? Please hurry. Arathiel saved us. We can't let the worm cult kill her. The worm cult took us completely by surprise. Undead rose from the ground and came shambling out of the forest. They surrounded us. We dropped what few weapons we had, and they separated us. Arathiel must have escaped in the confusion. Yes. She said she was able to slip through an outcrop of rocks as our party panicked. Arathiel cut my bonds, then went to free the others. She said to meet her here, but I haven't seen or heard from her since she freed me. Their leader said Oathbound Avengers will bring an age of blood and doom to the elves. I think the Worm Cult is plotting to destroy Malabal Tor and use the remains to sweep across all of Tamriel. I pray we stop them. They're the Cult of the Black Worm, Daedra followers, Molag Baal worshippers. They spread destruction and chaos wherever they go. They're in Arbamath for something evil. I told them to leave me if I were captured, but Ifra blessed them for not listening. I'll be fine. I know a restoration spell to seal wounds, but I will need help getting into the ruins beneath Abamath. They're down there, the worm cult, and we must stop them. The entrance to the ruins is locked by Welkin stones. I saw a few cultists guarding them as I was dragged to this cage. Get the Welkin stones. Two of them unlock the outer door. We'll use the rest inside the ruin. Eager. I like that. They've got the Welkin stones at their tents. Their glow should help you find them. Once you've recovered the stones, head to the ruin's entrance. I'll meet you there and we'll go in. As usual, sowing discord. However, this sect is different. They spoke about an arcane ritual and Moloch. Their leader's a powerful necromancer. Cassia Varro. Abamath was built over an ancient orc settlement dedicated to the worship of Morlock. It is said the blood of Morlock originated here, deep underground where the blood flows. If there's a shrine or some ancient blood magic within the ruins... Simply put, war paint. There's a spring or something inside the ruin filled with red water and mud. The original inhabitants believed Morlock gave it to them so they'd be strong. It's a myth, a legend. 
But what if there's something to it after all? Good, for I fear they plot to summon Morlock himself. Abermath was built over an ancient orc settlement dedicated to the worship of Morlock. It is said the blood of Morlock originated here, deep underground where the blood flows. If there's a shrine or some ancient blood magic within the ruins... I don't know anything but the name. I overheard it as they marched me through their camp, that's all. Cassia Varro and Morlock. The entrance should be unlocked now. The final two Welkin stones unlock the door to the sanctum inside these ruins. Don't lose them. Be ready for anything in there. Agreed. But my injuries are worse than I thought. I'm useless as a fighter. So I'll keep to the shadows until you've cleared a path ahead. Place the remaining Welkin stones. I'll meet you at the sanctum's entrance deep within the ruins. Thank you. I'll follow when I see it's safe to move. Look for the sconces to either end of the ruins. That's usually where they are.
unseal the doors. It takes more than that if you seek blood, whelp. to enter my shrine. Your pain amuses me. That must have hurt. Honestly, I didn't expect a barrier across the entrance. The cult must have set this up as a last line of defense in case they were attacked. That's a relief. There must be a power source nearby. Another Wilkins stone or something darker. Look, there, on the pedestal. Greetings, mortal. I speak through this object, not from it, mortal. That troll herder Moloch must not invade this realm. The pathetic worms in the cave beyond must be destroyed. You must stop their foolish rituals. This object is called an animus geode. The cult imbued it with a curse. When attuned to a door, it can only be destroyed by the release of a soul. Feed the Animus Geode a soul, and it will shatter, clearing your path. Aretheal's soul will do nicely. She betrayed her people and joined the Worm Cult. Only after she was forced to murder her own family, did she question her choice. Her word is worthless, but her soul. Feed it to this gem and rid yourself of the traitor. Many mortals call me Boethia. Sate the geode's thirst with Arethiel's soul, and I will grant you a boon for a time to aid in your battle with the worm cult. Use the Animus Geo to absorb her soul and it will dispel the barrier. The Worm Cult is of no interest to me for the moment, but more cannot be allowed to invade Nern. We have history, Moloch and I. It would amuse me to see his plan destroyed. Are you talking to the stone? What happened? Boethia? Why does she want my soul? It's true. I once served the Worm Cult, and everyone I loved died by my hands. With each death, pieces of myself cracked and shattered, until my hatred turned inside out and I finally saw the cult for what they truly are. Trust me. What I did is horrific, and I must atone for my crimes. Yes, Moloch would sow destruction across Valenwood as an unwitting puppet of Moloch Baal. The Worm Cult would follow in his wake, raising an army of undead from his slaughter. We need to get past that barrier. Take my soul. If you can stop the cultists with my soul, do it. The stone requires a soul to dispel the barrier, and I am willing. A fitting and bloodthirsty safeguard for their ritual.
Martyrs of Moloch. Blood of the Forgotten Tribe. Hear our call for vengeance. Safe. I thought Boethia meant to destroy you too. Glad I was wrong. Death was a just punishment for my crimes. The Animus Geode released my spirit when that barrier fell. The Worm Cult failed to summon Morlock thanks to you. And now I'm free. Safe journeys, my friend. Everyone, this adventurer isn't slowing down anytime soon. <laughs> <laughs> 